And here's another product review. This is the first time that we will be reviewing a full review for the GoBoard electric scooter. And right now, it's GoBoard Titan Mini. Mini. And without further ado, let's start this. Let me work it. Let me work it. Work, work, work. What's up, up Caballeros? Right now, as we said earlier, we will be reviewing the GoBoard Titan Mini. Mini. And Mini. for the parts of this electric scooter, before we start, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So you will be notified every time there will be another review coming up from this channel. And without further ado, let us discuss the parts for this electric scooter with Boinks and Miko. I will be disappearing for a moment. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's just compress ourselves. All right, so I'll start off with our newest product here, the GoBoard Titan Mini. So I'll start the review with the lower part of the electric scooter, moving from back to front, mm -hmm. front to back, and side to side. <laughs> and then we'll leave the rest to Miko, working on from the stem, uh, going, I up. Mean, yeah, going upwards to the handlebars and what's left of the electric what's scooter. Left of me? <laughs> what's left of me? <laughs> All right. So to start off, what we have here is a 500 watt motor with a 9 by 3 tubeless tires. And we also have mechanical brakes. Aside from that, we also have your fender with the brake lights. Moving to the right, as you can see, we have your suspension. A very, very good spring suspension, mm -hmm. I might say. Moving up a bit, we have your grab bar and then your footrest. footrest. And as you can see, we have here the deck, which is a bit thick because the battery that we have inside is actually 13 AH mm -hmm. with a 36 volt. And moving to the right, you can see that we have here a front <laughs> wheel uh -huh. with the rotor, with the brake, and a 9x3 inch tire. By the way, don't forget the upgrades, for example. So we have here your signal lights, which you can have it as an add-on. All right. All right. And aside from that, if you would notice on the step board, we have here like a small hook. So that's how you would be able to lock the electric scooter when you get it folded. So as what you're seeing here, there will be an improved hook once the official release has been made because the item that we have right now is a prototype yes. version of the GoBoard Mini. And we also have a charging port on the left side of the electric scooter when you are riding it. It's actually covered with a rubber cap. That's all the parts here at the bottom of the deck. From there, we'll turn it over to Miko for the rest of the electric scooter parts. Take it away! Alright, so I'll be discussing from the bottom front up to, of course, our handlebar. So, let's start with the bottom front. Of course, we have your wheel right here as mentioned by Boinks. And on the sides, on each side, just across, of course, the suspension, the front suspension of this electric scooter, we also have your reflectors. I think that's a nice touch to the unit, especially for an entry level. Take note of that. Moving up a bit, of course we have your headlight with horn. If you want to hear the sound of this horn. Alright. <laughs> and before we mm -hmm. proceed to the rest of the electric scooter guys, I just want to highlight that in the front, mm -hmm. we have here telescopic suspension yeah. on both sides. Yes. So if you would notice at the back, we have here your spring suspension and then dual telescopic suspension yeah. in the front. And if you will also notice, there is a mono spring suspension located in the step. Moving forward, we have your locking mechanism right here. And if you want to see our demonstration, points, take it away. All right, so to actually fold this electric scooter, the first thing that you need to do is you need to swivel the plastic lock mm -hmm. to the right. So you move it like that. So once you've removed that, you will slowly pull the metal lock and you need to make sure that you're holding onto the stem so, so that you're supporting it, the stem correct you, that you're supporting the stem so that it doesn't fall down to the back of the electric scooter so once you've done that you should be able to fold it and hook it up to the step board now to unfold the electric scooter you just need to do the reverse of everything first unhook it from the step mm -hmm. board and then after unhooking 
uh, lift the stem and um, pull up the metal latch. Mm -hmm. And once it's pulled up, it should tightly hold the stem and you can add in the plastic support lock. It's an extra feature that, you know, to make sure that it's reinforced. All right. It's a nice touch. All right. All right. So let's give it back to Nico for the rest of the parts of the electric scooter. Okay. So thank you, Boinks, for explaining the locking mechanism. Moving up, of course, we have your stem. And it's a pretty solid one. And then let's proceed to our handlebars. We have your stop switches for the lights and for the horn. And we also have the after sales add-on for the signal lights. We also have your throttle on the right side. And of course, we have your brake levers for the mechanical brakes. And just to add, guys, mm. on this unit, as you can see, we have here bar and lights mm. on both ends. They are also aftermarket and can also be provided by Scoop. So that's it. We have covered all of the parts. Let's now move on to the next part of our review. And that will be the performance, performance test. test. So, thanks. I'll see you in a bit in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Welcome back, Bryce. All right. So let's get it on. So to start off, Miko will be discussing the performance test for the suspension. How did it go? All right. For the suspension test, well, as mentioned earlier in the parts, we have your monospring suspension on the stem, hydraulic telescopic suspensions, of course, in the front wheel, and in the back, we have your spring suspension. So it has three suspensions. So what do we expect? Comfort. For an entry-level electric scooter, definitely comfort is a plus. It is given, as you can see in our video, it plays well, especially the spring suspension in the back. The front one, it's kind of firm, though though it's very supported. And that's our impression, Boings, and my impression of the suspensions. Now moving on to my most favorite part, the torture test on our Torture here. Now, how did it go for our torture test, Nico? So take note that this is a 500 watt, 36 volt electric scooter. The good thing though is it was able to reach the top of our torture hill. All right. So that's the first one. But here's a catch. Of course, since it's an entry level electric scooter, it has its certain challenges when I'm about to reach the top of the hill. But again, going back to the question, did it reach the top? Yes. It did. It did. And for the second mode, which is without the initial speed, as you can see in our demonstration on our test, we were able to at least reach the half of the torture hill, which is also amazing for an entry-level electric scooter. Because as expected, entry-level electric scooters will have challenges going up in certain locations. So it's, it still has its advantages. So it performed well it, for a 36-volt yeah. electric yeah. scooter. Take note, it weighs 20 kilograms comparing to some. It's a little heavy on the heavier side, but it was able to perform well on our torture test. So kudos to you, GoBoard Titan Mini. So the next one, we will be going to our braking test from our torture hill. Yep. How did it go? Okay. Me Oh. All right, so of course, as you can see in our demonstration, in our test, I, I rode it from the top of the hill going down at full speed. The brakes did well. If I may say, the mechanical brakes performed well. It doesn't have that strong, tight feel that you're going to be afraid that you might fall off the scooter. There's this gentle touch. And last but not the least, our speed test. If you haven't seen our speed test yet, you can click the i button here at the top right corner so you can check our speed test from modes one, two, three. three. And of course, that sums up our performance test. Moving on to our pros, pros and, and cons. cons. I will be needing you to replace <laughs> I will need, that I will need position. To go. <laughs> yes. I will need to go. For a minute. For Boinks to go back with me. <laughs> and we will be discussing the pros and cons. Of course. So without further ado, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> All right! All right. So now going on to our pros, I want points to have his first pro first. Let's All get it. Alright. So for my first pro on this electric scooter, that would be the stand. The stand is long enough 
to give enough support on the electric scooter so it doesn't look awkward if you would notice most stands are smaller and they would actually put the electric scooter in an awkward angle that it might end up falling so that's my first pro how about you Bryce so just to add up the stand can withstand let's go <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next pro of this electric scooter. For me, it's the triple suspension from this electric scooter. Because as mentioned earlier, one of the things that GoBoard is known for is its comfort. So for me, even for the Titan Mini version, it still holds up to its name, being one of the most comfortable entry-level electric scooter, not to mention this is only a 36 volt electric scooter. All right. So that's my first pro. Moving on to the next one. All right. So for my next pro, that would be the 9x3 tubeless tires. As you know, having tubeless tires on the roads that we have in our country is very important because it's not prone to a berea. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I want to know what's a Beria for our international viewers. So for our international viewers, <laughs> we call getting a flat tire as a Beria because it helps us from moving. It's like mishaps, right? Yeah, mishaps in getting through the places that we want to go when we run into a flat tire. Now, when you have a tubeless tire, it will be very easy to get it patched up and have the air back in. Especially when it is partnered with a sealant. Correct. So moving on, what would be your next pro, Bryce? My next pro would be its high clearance. Out of all the entry-level electric scooter, this is by far the highest clearance that I've ever seen from a 36 volt and an entry-level electric scooter. Believe it or not, it has the highest clearance amongst all, again, the electric scooter for entry level and 36 volts. Moving on to our next pro points, let's go. All right, so for my next pro, I think it would be the reflector on the front of the electric scooter. It's really a nice addition for visibility, especially during the night. The cars that you will be running with will be able to easily see you with the reflectorized lights on both sides of the suspension. So from the reflectorized lights, is there anything that you want to add, Bryce? Well, for me, I think one of the things that I also like from this electric scooter is its build. Because the way I see this electric scooter, at first glance, it doesn't even look like an entry-level electric right. scooter. For me, it's a pro because for an affordable amount, later, we will be mentioning how much this electric scooter costs. Moving on to our next pro. All right, I think I just want to add on what Bryce said that the build is really good. For me, when I first saw this electric scooter, the first thing that I thought of are the big boys out there. Those people who have uh, a weight of 80 kilograms and higher. I think this uh, electric scooter will be able to carry you, all right? in a better fashion for beginners. Aside from that, that's it for me, for all the pros. Anything else you want to add, Bryce, for the pros of this electric scooter? Well, this one, I think this will be my last one, but this will be a subtle one. Why is it subtle? Because you won't see it externally. So one pro from this electric scooter that you might not know is this has a big compartment for its batteries so what for it only means that you can also add more batteries for this electric scooter as an upgrade for better range since I already mentioned upgrades I would like to add as well that this electric scooter can also be upgraded to dual hubs <laughs> you didn't Is know that, that I didn't know that is that for real that's for real so you have an option to upgrade this Titan Mini to a dual hub electric scooter. And also, if you will be upgrading to a dual hub electric scooter, you will be upgrading the battery as well to a 48 volt, meaning it, it will be faster and stronger. stronger. Better range, better, better speed. speed. So that's it for me 
to wrap up the pros from this electric scooter now we will be moving on for the cons from this electric scooter for the first one points let's go all right so for the first con for me that would be the folding mechanism i think the folding mechanism could be done a lot better because as of the moment it's being held by two pieces of metal the other one is actually a bolt that will continue to wear over time due to usage so that's the, my first con how about you bryce anything else you want to add Well, for me, I think the mechanical brakes, as Miko mentioned earlier, that it has a soft braking at its rear. But for me, I think I'm leaning towards a stronger brake because for me, the stronger the brake, the safer that you will be. In case of an emergency. Yeah, actually. So yeah, I think that would be one con from me. Just a little bit tweaks, I think, for like a bit of adjustment. But after... Uh, Aside from that, that's my first con. Moving on to the next one. And that's it, Caballeros. Really? Yes. Those are the only cons that we actually have for this electric well, scooter. I agree. Especially for an entry level from the way that it looks. The speed and comfort is very good. So good for you, Scoot, for the new GoBoard Titan Mini. And before we continue, if you like this review, don't forget to click that like button and again click that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. So you will be notified every time a new video, a review, a ride is coming up from our channel. Alright. And now we will be calling back Miko in 3, 2, and 1. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's adjust. Let's adjust. That's so fast. Why did you sound me that fast? All right. So for this part, Miko will be discussing the discount for you, Caballeros. As for the discount, well, you'll be getting two percent off from the total price of this electric scooter. So in order for you to get that, all you need to do is to just message us on our Facebook page. That's Team Caballero. Again, that's Team Caballero. Message us right there for the discount code. And for the present, this electric scooter, that'll be 27,000 pesos. And for our question of the day, if you are a beginner, would you consider the GoBoard Titan Mini as your first electric scooter and why? Write down in the comments below. We, we want, want to know. know. And that's it for today, Caballeros. See you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Now we will be calling Hoiling. Now we will be calling back Miko for her final words. <laughs> <laughs> for our closing remarks. <laughs> for programming our <laughs> final thoughts. <laughs> and to end, and before to and before we end this. <laughs> for this part. For this. <laughs> what the hell? And for the price of this electric scooter. Do you know ready? So, sorry.